Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. And we heard a lot of rumbles of thunder like that one in the animation today. This was a busy weather day and a couple areas did see wind damage, especially near Malden and for portions of Newberry County. That could happen again tomorrow. I don't expect there to be a lot of strong storms, but a couple will be possible amongst the heavy rain and some more rumbles of thunder. A 60% chance of rain on Tuesday, 40% for Wednesday and Thursday, then goes down to 30% for Friday. So no washout expected toward the end of the week. Tomorrow, though, will be a rainier day, and it'll be a lot like today was, where we'll have some of the rain lingering into the overnight. We've got light to moderate rain from Lawrence to Spartanburg, but the heavier downpours have been over toward Rabin County. A few rumbles of thunder north of Tacoa. We've got a heavy batch of rain. No thunder with that, at least not being picked up on our lightning tracker, uh, moving between Pickens and Oconee counties and drifting north toward the mountains tonight. Now, at Lake Kiowe, there were some pretty cool scenes, and across much of the area, we saw a lot of the these low clouds, very ominous looking. This was a what looks like a shelf cloud moving across Lake Kiowee sent from Kathy Bates. Uh, we have so much tropical moisture in the air. The clouds are very low hanging. They can look very ominous, but the good news is the tornado threat with this kind of environment very, very low. But sometimes those clouds can look a little bit scary too. We really appreciate when you send in those pictures. Of course, never put yourself in harm's way to do it. Right now it is 72 in Greenville. It's 71 in Gaffney, sitting in the low 70s up in Asheville. It is so humid outside. Oh my goodness. It's the first time we've really been stuck in it. Uh, really this season. We're in the steamy category where the dew point is at 70 or higher and that is almost a tropical environment and that's what's helping to fuel these heavy thunderstorms that have gotten going and that's really going to just be the case through the rest of the week. Upper 60s tonight in the upstate, feeling muggy, scattered showers, even some rumbles of thunder, but severe threat very low. Mid 60s for you across the mountains with a chance for a few thunderstorms, but mainly uh, just some garden variety heavy rain. As we head to the day tomorrow, 60% chance of rain in the upstate, periodic rain across the mountains too. High staying in the low 80s, which is lower than normal for this time of year. So let's take a look at the fresh future cast as we go through time. Notice at 1 a.m. tonight, still seeing a little bit of rain but it should thin out a good bit toward the morning commute. Still could have a sprinkle or two, but certainly no heavy rain expected. And then the rain will pick up as we go through the afternoon. This particular model puts more in the mountains tomorrow than in the upstate. But I think we'll all stand a pretty good chance of seeing showers and storms. Some could linger into the late night hours again, but then we'll start Wednesday dry and then do it all over again Wednesday afternoon. So really it's a afternoon and evening storm threat calms down overnight. And then we just do it all over again as the temperatures heat up during the day. But rain chances will start to go down this uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Still at 40% though. So if you've got a swim meet or uh, the kids have a baseball game, anything like that, you just want to have the backup plan. Uh, keep in mind that rain could mess with what you want to do. Into this weekend, rain chances go down a bit more. So some good news if you've been wanting to go to the pool or the lake. I don't think you have to worry about many rain out conditions. Uh, but in the mountains, we're going to keep a pretty decent chance of rain at 40% throughout the entire weekend.